Well, joining us for more on the COVID-19 situation and rollout of vaccines is Dr. Beta Edu, Cross River State Commissioner for Health. I'd like to thank you for joining us on the programme. Thank you for having me. Good evening. Good evening. As chairperson as well, commissioners for health in Nigeria, how would you assess the current response to tackle the third wave in the country? Well, I think um, Nigeria has gotten used to responding to um, the COVID pandemic. And um, the third wave isn't um, any worse than it has always been. At least we have some basic knowledge on how the response should go. And we have been able to effectively manage two waves of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, most important is the fact that we now have the vaccines in the country, um, all the commissioners for health across the various states. And indeed, the health ministries have been doing a whole lot of work on the grassroots to see that people are tested, to see that they continue to maintain the protocols which have been laid out by NCDC and the federal government, including the presidential um, steering committee, and then also to push the vaccines in the various states. A lot of work around risk communication going on in all the states presently. Um, we are very grateful to the federal government and, of course, the um, presidential um, steering committee for the great work they have done in giving direction to various states. And we believe that as we're able to overcome the first and second wave, we'll do the same for the third wave vis-a-vis -vis the fact that we have vaccines now in Nigeria. We've heard today from uh, the Edo State Governor who has said, I mean, from the second week of September, there will be reinforced public health measures uh, such as that, you know, for those who can access uh, um, for large gatherings and, you know, accessing uh, public and private places only for those who show proof that they've taken at least one dose of the vaccine. Uh, is that something you're open to in, in Cross River as well? Well, we can't, we can't really um, place that um, kind of embargo on people. Um, we advise people generally to um, follow the protocols and do what is right in their own interest and in the interest of the public. However, because of the uh, limited number of vaccines that are available, it's difficult for us to say everybody uh, must have the vaccines before they go to public places. If you recall, Cross River State did extremely well, very, very well during the first phase rollout of the vaccines. We had over 117% coverage topping the country for the number of population covered that was targeted. And um, we again are doing the same thing during this second phase. We already flagged off on Saturday and we're pushing all the vaccines out across the hinterlands everywhere so people can have access to the Moderna and AstraZeneca for the second dose, Moderna for the first um, dose. And then of course, Risk communication is on top gear to ensure that more and more people have access to these vaccines. However, because of the limited number, you can't say um, that everyone who has not taken the vaccines can't uh, really be in public places. But more importantly, they should be able to use their face masks when they are going to public places and try their very best to avoid crowd and all of those uh, kind of gatherings that could put them at risk. You've also been of the opinion that for those that haven't or are not going to use up their vaccines, they should send it to states that actually need more, which is something that we saw during the earlier rollout. Will this apply here as well? Is that a position you also want to happen? Well, Cross River State has continued to absorb vaccines from several other states. During the first phase, we exhausted um, the first 58,000 doses that was given to us within 10 days. And so we had to call for more. They sent another 8,000. And then subsequently, they pulled vaccines from other states in South South Nigeria and sent to Cross River about 25,000 doses, which were exhausted within seven days. This time around again, we have started and the numbers that are coming all out to get vaccinated are really, really huge. In a day, we run more than five to, uh, to 8,000 persons getting vaccinated. And with the rates we're going, within 20 days, we would have exhausted the Moderna and then the second dose of AstraZeneca. And so we have no options than to call the national to send in more vaccines into our state so that people who are itching, yearning, and really calling on the response team to give them vaccines can have access to these vaccines. Remember, they have very short... Um, life uh, shelf life, and so they need to be given to people as soon as possible, especially 
the AstraZeneca vaccines. So in 30 seconds, you almost sound like there is nothing like vaccine hesitancy in Cross River State. Is that the case? Yes, we have no single form of vaccine hesitancy. If there's anything, we believe that the vaccines that we have received already, we would exhaust it and we need lots more in a very short time. And we're very happy that the Johnson & Johnson is still coming in for those um, conflict areas and hard to reach areas. And also we're expecting uh, more of the AstraZeneca vaccines and Pfizer vaccines as soon as possible. The governor has asked that uh, the vaccine, the ultra cold chain, be kept in the government house so that they are short of 24 hours light. We have no issues whatsoever. Logistics provided and vaccines are going all out. We appreciate your time on the program. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Dr. Betedu is the Commissioner for Health, Cross River State, also the Chairperson Commissioners for Health in Nigeria. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome.